You don't need to hustle hard to get somewhere. You just need to work smarter. Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Natalie Marie and I have content on business mindset, acting and product reviews. Welcome back. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, make those thumbs light up and share this around because I'm sure a lot of people are gonna wanna hear this. I decided to start a new series called Unpopular Opinion. One, I have a lot of unpopular opinions and two, I have a lot of opinions about things. Now, Unpopular Opinion is basically a series that has to do with business mindset because ever since I became a savvy businesswoman, I have been hearing things here and hearing things here and then contradicting things here. So we all know the whole hustle mantra, like, you know, hustle hard, hashtag hustle, the grind. Girl, I was there. I actually was hustling real hard. I was an actor in New York City and I was at acting school and I thought, the more I worked, the better off I'd become. All I did was get really burnt down, burnt out, but I thought because I was working so hard that I would get ahead of the crowd. You're ahead of getting nowhere. So I always believe that a slow burn is better off than a no burn. It's just not worth it. A couple of weeks ago, I was really working hard on my business, my acting, my YouTube, my this, my that. There was so much going on. I was getting so overwhelmed and I ended up making a post about it and saying, I feel like my mindset is just not correct. So I really reflected that weekend. Next week, I'm gonna be implementing some steps and I'm gonna see if they work for me. And you know what? The results were wow factor. Not only was my mood better and not only did I have time to, you know, make a cup of tea and talk to my mum for a bit during lunch. Not only did I actually have a lunch break, but I also kicked so many goals at the same time. So if you guys are feeling burnt out, if you guys are feeling deflated, if you guys are just not having that spark that you used to have, stay, watch here, watch the, to the end because I have five tips that you can implement so that next week is a better week for you. Because I truly really do believe that being a better you than you were yesterday is the only hustle you need. It's not about working to the bone, but it is about reflecting, analyzing, and seeing what can work better. Because maybe the things that you're implementing at the moment, then they're just not giving you the results that you need. You need to actually step back instead of putting more forward. Know the hours that you work best. What are you talking about? When you've got a business, you're working 24 seven. Honey, get that mindset out of that damn stinky gutter because no, because if you're working 24 seven, how is your body gonna rest? How are you going to be healthy enough to work the next day? Think about it. This is a marathon, not a sprint. And I'm gonna say it for the people in the back that didn't hear it. This is a marathon, not a sprint. And the very first thing to start off is, what are your workable hours? For me, I'm a morning person. I realized that working till 11 p.m. wasn't giving me any benefits to my businesses or to myself because the next day, I was just not functioning correctly. The work, the quality of my work wasn't as great as it could be. So when I say workable hours, it is the hours in the day that you're most likely to function and with excellence. So for me, for me, because I'm a morning person, I decided to wake up at 5 a.m. and go to bed at 9 p.m. because the hours from 9 p.m. to midnight, I'm not doing much with those if I'm working. I'm like a sim. Once it hits 9 p.m., my health bar goes down and I'm in the red. I woke up at 5 a.m. and it felt like bliss. There was no commotion, no talking, because everyone's asleep, no emails, nobody to bother me. Those first three hours of the day, I got so much done. So find the hours that work for you. It might not be 5 a.m. I'm not telling you to get up at 5 a.m. But for me personally, I, I liked it better. I woke up at 5 a.m. I found that I got a lot more done and when everyone else was starting their day, I was already ahead. My second tip, and you might think this is counterintuitive, but it is take breaks. I used to be that girl that ate through lunch. I was like, I, I have to work because I can't just sit there and eat. You can ask in silence or talk to someone, socialize, you need to take that break. You need to take that lunch break. I make sure that my eyes aren't on the laptop all the time, otherwise I'm gonna need to get a new prescription of glasses. I make sure that every couple of hours I take a bit of a break. If you wanna be even better, apparently there's this thing and I haven't tested it yet. Another Aussie, she said that if you work 52 minutes and then take a seven minute break, 
you're more likely to be productive in those 52 minutes because you know, you know when you go on, you know, you're doing a stint of work and then you're like tapping on your phone because you're looking at Instagram, you're replying to messages. No, stop doing that. You need to be in the flow of work. So with those seven minutes, you can do whatever you want. Or you can do the Pomodoro method, which is um, 25 minutes, I think. So you have a 25 minute block and it really makes you focus in for those 25 minutes that you get a lot more done instead of over time when your productivity probably decreases. And my breaks honestly were either like reading a few pages of a book from, from my book club, getting to that puzzle that I've had on my desk, not desk, my table for ages and still haven't finished, but it's getting there. Or even just playing with my dog. You know, my dog's here. And the fact that I get to work at home means I should be able to interact with my puppy as much as I want. And you know what? I started finishing work earlier. It was usually 8 p.m. when I would finish work. And at 8 p.m., that would be my time. My time to just relax and it would be without screens. I do not have my phone. I do not have my laptop. I do not watch Netflix. I do not watch TV. If that's how you relax, go for it. But for me, personally, I can't have screens at all because I won't wind down. So I would get back to that puzzle and I'd put an actual hour into that puzzle and zone in, or I'd read my book. You know, those are the things. You have to find the little things that relax you. And if that doesn't relax you, then obviously find different things, but really make those breaks worthwhile so that when you're actually working, you are focused. Make sure that you make time for your breaks calendar block them literally put blocks of time in your calendar and say i'm reading or i am playing with my dog or i am going for a walk or anything so that it is an appointment to you because if you are as a workaholic as i am you need to make it as if it's an appointment because that means it's important and sometimes we don't put ourselves first and you really really need to if you want to succeed in at least productivity or your business because you are the front runner, you are the leader, you are the person that needs to be still standing at the end. I was the type of person who would have a to-do list this long and still roll to the floor. I was that type of person. Make one big goal. So for instance, next week, my big goal is to get my website done. That has been on my mind for so long but because I'm like, oh, I need to do this and I need to do that and I need to do this. Look, that can actually wait. You don't need to post to social media every single day, you know. Quality over quantity. That's how I go about it. That is my strategy. Because if you post something shitty, it's not going to be any good anyway. But you also wasted time creating that post. And that time could be put towards your goal. So this week for me was to get my, just my loose ends done. So my onboarding process, I have created that, the flow, I created a video for it and it's gonna go live next week. I honestly think if you make one big goal for each of your endeavors, whether that be personal life or your business. So for me, it was to make sure that I worked out or had 30 minutes of exercise every day but if it's something else, I don't know, cook one meal a day, learn a new recipe a day, gain three new clients, do two discovery calls, or if you wanna just, you know, plan all your content and just get that out, you know, just sit down and write. And obviously there's tasks in between my client work and all that stuff, but when it comes to my time and my time with my business, I'm making that go and making it a priority. So whatever surrounds that priority will get done. It's literally just being smarter with your time. Because if you tend to go and like work on one thing and then you change and switch to another and then you change and switch to another, you really get nowhere. I ha don't have the same momentum that I had going into it. And like I said, I need 30 minutes a day. So girl, Move that thing. Get up, go for a walk. If you're not an exercise person and you don't like it, go for a walk, get some fresh air, get some sunlight. It's really cloudy at the moment, but still get out there, put a jumper on and go. I prefer dancing. 
I, uh, I used to be a full-time dancer, so I, like, I'm used to moving my body every day. I'm used to stretching and looking after it. I'm used to conditioning it. And now that I don't have as much time as I used to because I'm not doing full-time dance, my muscles kind of like screech at me a little if I don't move them. So I tend to do dance lessons. They're free, they're online. Um, also there's YouTubers that do fitness dance. One that I'm loving is Abby Pollock and I literally just joined Made to Move, I think it's her movement. And it's basically like for a whole month, every day she's got a new workout, this, that. I decided to join it because that will keep me accountable. Find your accountability, find things and people that will keep you accountable or so that you can actually get there. So for instance, I always, I used to put my exercise on the back burner. Because I'm like, yeah, yeah, that, that can get done tomorrow. No, because honestly, exercise makes me feel present and exercise makes me feel alert. When I'm present, I can do so much better in my job and I function so much better. The clarity is just amazing. Accountability groups. My accountability group is a bit different because <laughs> it's not to do with business per se, but inadvertently it does make me like really stick to my like educating myself on this journey because you know I, I am new in this I'm quite new I'm not gonna even deny it I mean I may have traits and things that have helped me that I have learnt along the way in other jobs and other careers but actually running a business is quite new to me but my accountability group is a book club and basically it's a book club full of girls who are strong women who you know have a very ambitious who are intelligent and we come together once a month and we read a book last book that i read was everything is figure outable and my god i might do a book review on it because it was so good that book fell on my lap at the exactly right time when i was feeling down gutted defeated deflated and when i read that book it just lifted me right up find an accountability group that works for you there's heaps there's heaps out there you just have to look for it you're like natalie i know all this it's like yeah well are you implementing it and you're like probably not because you don't think it's gonna work trust me test it for a week test it and then tell me was this week better than last week give me a comment down below if you're like yay yay or if you're like nay nay because i'm telling you i'm no coach just a girl testing theories testing practices, but just let just want to tell you that a habit takes 21 days to get made. I'm in my second week of doing all this. I'm already seeing a massive, massive difference with my time, my organization, and I'm not feeling burnt out on a Friday. I'm feeling like I still have stuff in the tank. I'm not sleeping until 11 because I am bugged. That's all from me. I hope you like this new thing called Unpopular Opinion. Uh, it is a series that I'm gonna continue. And if you have any unpopular opinions that you want me to debunk, let me know in the comments below. Remember, don't forget to subscribe, like those thumbs up, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.